Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Mohammed Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at his residence in Abu Dhabi the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Majesty exchanged with the UAE President friendly talks on the strong fraternal relations between the two countries, praying to Allah the Almighty to maintain their progress, stability, and prosperity. The two sides discussed cooperation and coordination in various fields that serve their mutual interests and fulfill the aspirations of their people, affirming the mutual keenness on continuing the fraternal consultation approach for the interests of the G CC countries and the Arab region. The meeting was attended by the ruler's representative in the Dhafra region, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Presidential Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the Special Affairs Advisor at the Presidential Court, Sheikh Mohammed bin Hamad bin Tahnoun Al Nahyan. It was also attended by His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the UAE Ambassador to Bahrain, Sheikh Sultan bin Hamdan bin Zayed Al Nahyan. The chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired a meeting of the REHC High Committee. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman highlighted the unwavering support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for the development of the kingdom's horse racing sector. His Highness expressed gratitude to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for his patronage of the 2023 Crown Princess Cup and emphasized that His Royal Highness's support is a motivation to continue advancing the horse racing sector. His Highness was briefed on the REHC's organization of a series of races, including His Majesty the King's Cup and the National Action Charter Cup. In this regard, he emphasized the importance of ensuring the success of the upcoming races. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman commended the REHC staff's efforts towards achieving the club's development programs and goals and noted their expertise in managing and organizing regional and international races. He emphasized the importance of developing plans and strategies to support Bahraini jockeys, trainers and stable owners as well as working to implement innovative initiatives to contribute to the kingdom's long-standing unique heritage. The REHC High Committee also reviewed several priority strategic projects and developments in the governor's governance and sustainability of its various operations. He concluded by reiterating the importance of delivering the club's approved plans and priorities to support the kingdom's ever-growing horse racing sector. The Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Charity Educational Endowment and Chairman of the Royal Life Saving Bahrain, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, delegated His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa to attend the annual Beach Lifeguard Appreciation Event for the 2022 season. The founder and chairperson of the Board of Directors of RLSB, Her Highness Sheikh Hanayla bin Hamad bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, delivered a speech in which he welcomed His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah and the distinguished guest, expressing pride in the progress made by the RLSB in achieving such initiatives. She stressed that the prevention of drowning is a collective responsibility and that by continuing to work with partners such as government agencies, private institutions and companies, as well as members of society can make further achievements in order to provide safe places in an atmosphere that ensures that no lives are lost due to drowning. The ceremony included a presentation during which the efforts made by the RLSB and its team were highlighted, stressing the keenness to continue working at the same pace until achieving the strategic objectives. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah honored the lifeguards and of RLSB for their dedication and commitment to providing security and safety for beachgoers.
The Representatives Council Speaker Ahmed Al-Salam met the Speaker of the UAE Federal National Council, Sagar Ghabash, which is part of the current official visit of a delegation from the Representatives Council to the UAE at the invitation of the FNC Speaker. The two sides affirmed the depth of the solid fraternal relations between the two countries and their brotherly peoples in light of the unwavering interest of His Majesty the King and the UAE President. The two speakers appreciated the steady growth of bilateral cooperation in all fields, thanks to the continuous efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Minister and UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai. They affirmed the vital role played by the two councils in strengthening the relations between the two brotherly countries, enhancing parliamentary cooperation and exchanging expertise. The two speakers also reviewed the work mechanisms in the two councils and ways to consolidate economic and investment cooperation between the two countries. A meeting was held at the headquarters of the GCC General Secretariat between two delegations from Bahrain and Qatar. Bahrain's delegation was headed by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif Zayani, and Qatar's delegation was headed by Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdul Rahman Al Thani. The meeting explored the establishment of the necessary mechanisms and procedures to launch discussions at the level of bilateral committees in accordance with the Ula dec Declaration to end the pending files between the two countries. The two sides also reaffirmed the importance of close cooperation between the two brotherly countries in a way that enhances fraternal relations and achieves the aspirations of their peoples for security, stability and development and supports the path of joint action of GCC states. The Minister of Works, Engineer Ibrahim Al Hawaj, visited the locations of the expansion projects of Al Jasra Interchange and the Janabiya Highway in the Northern Governorate. The Minister viewed a detailed plan of Al Jasra Interchange expansion projects and its latest development. He stated that the project will double the traffic capacity heading to the Janabiya Highway from the north to the Isa bin Salman Highway on the east towards Manama through adding a new lane which will reduce traffic congestions and facilitate the flow of traffic. The Industry and Commerce Minister Abdullah Fakhro stressed the importance of the ongoing strong legislature executive cooperation in serving citizens. He asserted that the open debate that took place of the Council of Representatives to discuss rising prices had provided an opportunity to inform the citizens about the most important procedures and steps taken by the ministry to curb prices. The minister indicated that the current situation in the world has created challenges that affected global supply chains, leading to global inflation and the rise in prices. As a result, the ministry intensified monitoring and inspection campaigns. The minister stressed that Bahrain's economy is part of the global economic system, which is affected by multiple global factors. He noted that global prices are declining gradually, adding that the global trend will be reflected positively at the local level. Fakhro affirmed that the kingdom has sufficient stocks of basic food commodities, in line with the government's keenness to continue securing the strategic stock and ensuring the availability and diversity of food commodities. Representatives Council member Mohammed Lalewi participated in the meeting of the preparatory committee consisting of the Arab Parliament Speaker and representatives of the heads of Arab councils and parliaments which was held in Cairo to prepare the document that will be issued from the conference entitled Parliamentary Vision to Enhance Arab Food Security. Lalewi affirmed that Bahrain has realized the importance of achieving a sustainable level of food security as the royal directives announced by His Majesty the King to emphasize the need to achieve the national food security strategy through the strategic project for national food production. The National Action Charter enhanced Bahraini women's rights through a number of principles and values which guaranteed women equality, justice and equal opportunities and defined the main features of their role which motivated them to contribute to the development of various fields and sectors. More in this report. The achievements of Bahraini women are evident in Bahrain's history and have culminated since the issuance of the National Action Charter, where the formation of a committee to prepare the charter included six Bahraini women. The National Action Charter, which was issued upon royal directives and was unanimously agreed upon by the people of Bahrain, contributed to empowering Bahraini women and making many achievements and gains. On August 22, 2001, following a few months after the vote on the Charter, the Supreme Council for Women was established, which reports to His Majesty the King. The Council has a legal personality and is chaired by Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King, and is considered the reference for all official authorities with regard to women's affairs, and is specialized in expressing an opinion and deciding on matters related to the status of women directly and indirectly. 
Since its establishment, the Supreme Council for Women made many achievements for Bahraini women in various fields to fulfill the aspirations of the National Action Charter, which made Bahraini women an essential partner in the development process of the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Information and E-Government Authority, in cooperation with Veritas Technologies, organized a workshop on the Authority's initiative for the backup policy of government systems. This workshop aims to review the initiative that develop a backup policy in government agencies to achieve the necessary protection for data and information assets in government systems, storage centers, and all servers to ensure the continuity of workflow through the availability of backup and useful copies when needed. During the workshop, the backup strategy and the available and specific sites for data retention were reviewed as our authority will undertake the task of informing the authorities about it, in addition to the practices in place to implement this strategy. The LMRA urged irregular workers in the Kingdom of Bahrain and holders of a flexible work permit to quickly correct their legal status by joining the labor registration system. The authority confirmed that with the end of the period, legal measures will be taken against violators. It stressed that inspection campaigns will be intensified in coordination with the concerned government agencies. The LMRA indicated that expatriate workers present in the Kingdom whose permits have expired or have been revoked and holders of a flexible work permit can apply to the labor registration system, provided that they do not have criminal records. The government innovation competition FICRA came with the aim of stimulating creativity and innovation among government sector employees and government companies and providing them with the opportunity to compete and presenting effective proposals to improve government performance. More on this report. In order to stimulate creativity and innovation among government sector employees, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa announced in 2018 the launch of the Fikra Competition for Government Innovation with the aim of developing government work and promoting a culture of creativity and innovation in line with the principles of Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030. The initiative aims to showcase Bahraini energies and highlight their role in assuming the responsibility and realizing the desired visions to develop and modernize the various development and service sectors to continue building on the national achievement. FIKRA is a government platform available to all employees in the government sector to share innovative ideas that aim to develop and enhance government services provided in the Kingdom of Bahrain. It includes many requirements and different stages that participants must pass to qualify for the final stage. The Kingdom of Bahrain has qualified national cadres who contribute to the distinguished efforts in various sectors and it can always impress everyone with its innovation and creativity in providing practical solutions that contribute to the development of government work mechanisms.